Jay in the morning. Power 106.7. Live and direct. Let's go. This is Mary Murphy from So You Think You Can Dance. And Double J, I just love your face. Yes! Yes! Mary, I don't know if you remember, but a few years back, I want to say it was back in maybe 2007, possibly 2008, me and you talked. I was in Northern California at a radio station. I remember I told you, so Mary, I was thinking about you while I was taking a shower this morning. (laughs) 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 Anyway, so this morning, again, I was thinking about you while I was taking a shower. Scary business. (laughs) I was handling business, man. It was a -a rub-a-dub-dub, one man in the tub. Anyways, so I, I was thinking this morning, what can I ask Mary Murphy about So You Think You Can Dance? And I know you guys are having these auditions coming up, right? Right. We're just going on the road starting this Friday, actually. Go ahead and do Austin. Last night, I was watching American Idol. Oh. I tried to watch it, and it was very difficult to watch. Do you know how they, they look for the worst people to put on in the first few shows? Do you guys sure. do that with So You Think You Can Dance? Well, certainly, you know, I think it's extraordinary. A lot of really great dancers make it through. And then, of course, the worst of the worst. Um, I think they're, it, it's compelling to me why anybody would put themselves out there. Now, some of those people, by the way, I think the ones that they at least put through on So You Think You Can Dance really do believe they can dance. It's not really a put on. And uh, trying to get into somebody's head that would wait, you know, sometimes up to eight hours in these long lines to, you know, go on and think that they're actually going to make it into the top 20 just uh, it's mind-boggling to me so it, it, i find these people extremely interesting i actually do because it's you know even a really great dancer finds it very nerve-wracking to get in front of us you know after all these years and uh, yet there's still people that uh, you know are in living in remote areas and somebody or their entire family has been telling them you are the best dancer i've ever seen yeah you're awesome and then you look at them you're like oh my god a crippled person could dance better than you <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't necessarily, at least on So You Think You Can Dance, I, I don't think we make fun of them, but we're just trying to kind of give them a, a reality check and that, yes, you know, continue to dance because it is really healthy for you and it is a lot of fun, um, but most likely not going to be a professional dancer. If you just tuned into the program, we're talking with uh, Mary Murphy from So You Think You Can Dance. My stunt guy here, his name is Intern Mitch, and he's sitting right here. He has probably probably the worst dancer you will ever see in your life. And we don't pay him any money. Uh, he's an intern, so he can't go to Detroit where you guys have an upcoming audition, or he can't go to Memphis or Los Angeles. Is there any way that you guys could possibly hold an audition here in Albuquerque? And I promise you, Mary, I would not lie to you. I will tell you. You will be amazed at how horrible he is. You will laugh so hard you will probably throw up. It's- You'd probably vote me in. I'm, I'm so bad. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Today, when we get done with this interview, send it to me. (laughs) I want you to go, listen, I want you to go on YouTube, okay? Okay. And type in zombie dances to Michael Jackson's thriller, okay? That's intern Mitch for Halloween. We dressed him up as a zombie and he danced the entire thriller video and I promise you it's absolutely, it's a disgrace to dance is what it is. (laughs) You've coached some pretty famous people. Dennis Clay, Julia Roberts, um, danced a little bit with uh, Robert Duvall, uh, Mary Steen Virgin. Oh my gosh, she was one of my favorites. You also taught Donnie Wahlberg. Two questions yeah. for you. First off, how many times did you have to slap Donnie in the face for trying to hit on you? <laughs> He absolutely did not hit on me. So he's gay then? No. (laughs) (laughs) I will say something about Donnie Wahlberg. He, you know, he goes above and beyond, at least from what I could see. A lot of actors just, like, um, put it to the last second, and then they're distraught over that fact that they can't dance in their scene. But, I mean, this guy, I taught him a few times in L.A., and then I live in Sandy to drive down because he was, and he could rehearse for hours because he wanted to get it right. Oh, Mary. He wanted to get it right. He was supposed to be a hot dog dancer in this movie, and uh, I was just so impressed by that. So. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, how blind you are to him. <laughs> <laughs> he, was try- he was trying to impress you is what he was trying to do. <laughs> Who was the most difficult to try and teach how to dance because they were just absolutely horrible? Mm, you can't put me in that position. <laughs> <laughs> 
But so you do have one in mind. <laughs> Let me just say, at that point in time in Dennis Quaid's life, he, I think he was out all night when he came into dance rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Dennis Quaid then. <laughs> <laughs> the show continues its search for America's favorite dancers. This is February 11th, Monday, and that is in Detroit, right? Who picks some of these cities that you guys go to? Um, yeah, February we're in Detroit and uh, in Los Angeles. Probably, you know, a lot of people could come from Albuquerque uh, March 22nd in Los Angeles. Mary, clearly you're rich, so you've never had to drive that drive. It is an amazingly horrible oh, drive to LA. Nobody drives in this, Daisy. What are you talking about? I still clean the toilets in my dance studio. Give me a break. What do you think? I'm on American Idol or something? <laughs> Season 10, producers will travel across the country in search of dancers who will represent the best America has to offer. Who is the best celebrity dancer that you've taught? Um... You just don't want to say Donnie Wahlberg because you know, huh? I got you, Mary. I got you. I got the silence. I know what that was for. I know what it was representing. Mary Murphy, thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning, as usual. Always fun to talk to you. All right, thank you. And that's how it's done. Wake up, wake up. Wake up with Double J in the morning. Weekdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. On Power 106.7.